Hi everyone, this is Donnie Lowy from CloseOutExplosion.com. Hope you're doing well. Today I'd like to tell you about the New York Wholesale Garment District. The New York Wholesale Garment District is located from 5th to 10th Avenue, I would say approximately from 26th Street up to 37th Street. You have showrooms which are at the store, at the store level, basically at the street level, and then you also have showrooms inside of the buildings and then you also have warehouses now many showrooms are split into two or three different businesses so when you go into a showroom ask if it's only one business or if your other business is there often you'll walk into a showroom and there'll be an alcove in the back that belongs to a separate business so make sure you also go to the back and see what you can find there and meet the owner and many times even if you get to a showroom and you don't find an item that they have that you like they might be able to refer you to someone else that does have those items. Now, as far as the different types of sales you'll find, there are showroom sales, where they're basically wholesale sales being done by the showroom. Some showrooms sell retail, some sell wholesale only, but those are recurring wholesale sales. Either they have a certain stock of merchandise or they change your product line all the time, depending on the closeouts they buy. So for example, you could find a showroom that belongs to one specific brand, and then let's say Calvin Klein and they'll wholesale the Calvin Klein clothing you would need of course to set up a corporate account in that case or there could be showrooms where they're carrying brand name clothing but they, they don't they're not owned or they don't exclusively represent a certain brand you could deal directly with them without having to go through a corporate parent or through a corporate entity because those showrooms are independently owned now you also have sample sales. Sample sales are often arranged by the brands themselves. For instance, I've seen a sample sale by, happen by Jones New York and I've seen it happen about once to twice a year. They rent out this large storefront and they fill it up with samples from their product line and they sell it at below wholesale prices. And then you also have actual you know, wholesale warehouses those are mostly located outside of the city now that the rent has gone up and the cost of the space is so high but you can find a lot of these wholesale showrooms in Brooklyn and Queens and New Jersey now there's still places that will stock a lot of closeouts within the city maybe they either own the building or they've they've been renting that spot for so long that they're paying a very low price for the rent and they're able to afford to have a large space one thing when you go to the city, you always want to negotiate. They're ready for you to negotiate. Remember, their rent is high unless they've had that space for a very long time, so they need to do a lot of volume. That means that if you come in and you're serious and you really can afford to buy a good amount and you show them you're willing to buy a lot, then they're going to give you a discount. Another great thing to do when you go to the New York Wholesale Garment District is to find out what items they have that are not moving, what they're struggling to sell, and make an offer on those items. You remember you want to establish a good relationship with all the wholesalers that you deal with. This way they can call you when they have new closeouts and they can also refer you to their contacts who will have also merchandise which they want to sell. And there are many different types of buildings. For example, there's a bridal building at 1385 Broadway between 37th and 38th Street that of course is, has many showrooms for the bridal business. You have, there's a building also that it's on I believe 30 fifth street between it should be between 7th and 8th avenue it's a building that's full of children's wholesalers you have many different buildings you have buildings that actually specialize in materials i've seen showrooms that sell zippers for dresses for people that are either creating their own dresses or need to repair or mend dresses so you have definitely you know there's a lot of opportunities there in the New York Wholesale Garment District, there are different service providers that cover the entire industry from packing to shipping to labeling to designing to producing clothing to establish brands that are selling their merchandise to jobbers who are looking for closeouts and then they look for customers for those closeouts. There's jobbers, there's closeout brokers. You can go to their office, they could show you samples of products that they represent and then they'll fill the orders for you but if possible always try to deal directly with the source so I recommend when you could go to those to the buildings in the garment district and you go to the lobby there's usually a receptionist there or someone working security and ask them for directory of the tenants in that building they should be forthcoming with that because the building does want to provide business for their tenants they want their tenants to stay in business and to be happy to rent a showroom in their location so 
get get information get a listing of all the retailers I'm sorry and the wholesalers in that building and then go ahead and visit all those showrooms some of them you'll need an appointment so you know be polite if they you need an appointment just ask for the business card call them later and then follow up okay so there's a lot of opportunities you might even be able to sell your own wholesale merchandise to some of the vendors that you meet in the New York Garment District hope you enjoy this video you can visit my website close that thank you and have a great day